Okay, so I wanted to quick, put a quick little video together. Um, my wife, this is something I put together for her, and she does have experience, and she asked me if I could put the meals together around. Um, so her, her, she wants to be around 1,200 calories. She wanted to be, she actually wanted to be about 130, but I put in 150, assuming she'll probably end up eating a little less. Um, 70 carbs and 40, 44 fat. Um, so um, anyway, the way that I did this is uh, like, all these meals are interchangeable. So it's like she can choose to do this at any time, like any time of day. Um, generally, it's the same thing I teach people here. Um, get a good protein breakfast in the morning. A lot of times she's working out, so the protein shake will be two scoops or it'll be like a whole carton of egg whites from Costco, which that gives about 50 grams of protein just to really make sure you're getting the adequate protein that just helps and then you don't have to get as much later in the day and it helps you be more full and that's one of that's even the feedback I got from her but two protein shakes two scoops um, half egg white and then uh, 50 grams of frozen berries I we do everything in grams only way it's more accurate so um, I can't really tell you how many ounces I think that would be probably a one point seven eight ounces or so um but anyway whole carton of egg whites with greens beans broccoli spinach any vegetable frozen vegetable and it's just kind of given choices so it's like trying to come up with standard meals and this this i know will work from her for her just because i, I see what she eats um the next meal would be like 130 grams of turkey uh, 150 grams of broccoli and then five like each each meal you get five grams of olive oil You got to make sure oil is high in fat So that's definitely one you want to pay attention to because that can put you way over in calories something to be aware of um, But each one gets five grams of olive oil um, Broccoli and like her carbs aren't very high so it's like we can't really do any starchy foods and uh, the protein shake has a lot of carbs, so I think this was around 40 grams of carbohydrate, 30, 40 grams of carbs. So, um, and then the rest, just trying to get fillers. Like the carbs here would be the beans, you get a little bit of protein, but 100 grams of chicken. Um, vegetable optional. So, vegetables are kind of, I mean, they do have calories, so they do count, but it's like they're kind of free food. So, if you want to throw in like a 100 ounces of broccoli, spinach, any frozen vegetable. Um, it's it's there it's usually okay so but you do want to be aware of calories still um flank steak uh that can be an alternate and then just the serving of fish oil so we do fish oils we have a fish pill you can take or we have uh i forget what the brand is um but it's a it's a it's a like it tastes like lemon so it's like you can do a, a spoonful of that scoop of creatine for the day and then a scoop of magnesium we do that every night which can help with sleep and move in digestion the following day. Um, again, calorie estimates are around 1250, so 150 protein, 70 carbs, 44 fat. So this is generally like when I'm putting a meal plan together, it's like this is what I do as well. So I put something similar just, and I, I've done this so long, like this is easy for me to figure out. So. Um, but most importantly, like getting the protein, understanding carbs. But um, anyway, I just wanted to throw this together. I'm not sure if anyone will find this helpful or not, but um, it's always key to be organized. And initially, like when you do this, it's going to take you some time. So like the way that I did it today, I pulled out the My Fitness Pal and then I logged everything in. Um, and yeah, that's how we figured it out. Uh, so and just like little options for her because... She doesn't eat a ton of food, so um, just options because it's important to make sure she is getting her protein uh, to that she can have a little bit more protein per meal. Um, and then even like do 150 grams of ground turkey and 130 grams, and that's still going to put her around her 130, so which that would be okay. So ideally, um, but so you can kind of mix and match there is no rules it doesn't have to be three four meals it can be two meals three meals for day four you can even spread these out for six um a lot of times with me i'm hungry all the time so when i'm on a cut and i'm trying to release some weight uh, i will 
I will spread, like I'll do five or six meals just because it's easier for me to have food in my belly. Um, I will load up on things like broccoli and greens and salads and those because they just help me to feel full. But those are just little tricks to the trade. But anyway, hope you find this helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.